Welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in digital infrastructure. My name is Emily Scherer for JSA, and I am joined today by Mike Honeycutt. He is the Product Marketing Manager for Carrero, and also Mike Powell. He is the Sales Engineer for the East Coast in Canada. Um, I prefer to call them Mike Squared. This is a nickname that we have going now. So Mike and Mike, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Emily, for having us. Yeah, absolutely. So let's start out, just tell our viewers a little bit more about Carrero for those who don't know. Yeah, so Carrero Network Security, we're a global company. Uh, so we serve across many different markets, uh, but what we like to call ourselves are champions of service availability. So what does that mean to the lay person, right? So your service goes down, Netflix goes down, oh no, what does that mean? It's the end of the world, right? So there's a lot of costs Absolutely. and externalities that are associated with that. So what we do is we help protect those services and make sure that they're up and available. And how do we do that through DDoS protection, right? So we mitigate the attacks that bring those services down, those critical services down. We keep those services up and available all without adding complexity to the companies yeah. that use us. Excellent. That yeah. is such a good way for people to understand because everybody can relate to Netflix yeah. going down. So <laughs> right. very sure. important work, yeah. very important work. So you are known, you've touched on it a little bit, but Carrero is known for its work in real-time DDoS protection. Um, what's driving demand for stronger cybersecurity solutions in today's digital infrastructure yeah. landscape? I mean, we're, we're just more interconnected, right? So we talk about, you know, Netflix is an example. It could be Meta, so Facebook, right? So more people are interacting online. And as we're also seeing with AI, right, AI is scaling driving more demand as those demands increase so the, to the bad actors, right? Yeah. So those bad actors are looking for ex to exploit your network and get in in different ways. And so by that way, we have to make sure that we're keeping those services up and that's what's keeping DDoS protection in high demand right now. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for sharing sure. that. Um, now, I want to talk a little bit about AI as well, because that's becoming a double-edged sword mm -hmm. when we talk about that. Um, in cybersecurity, it can be both a threat that bad actors use, um, and it can be a tool. So how is Carrero using AI to strengthen defenses and yep. stay ahead of attacks? Well, I'll go ahead and uh, tell you two things. I'll tell you how we're protecting it, and then also how we're using it. Right? So AI companies, you know, what they've learned is they cannot scale in the cloud themselves. Typically what these large AI companies are doing is they're buying data centers themselves. They have their own infrastructure, their own network, right? And if they get a DDoS attack coming to them, they don't have the time to wait for that attack to get redirected to another protection somewhere, another data center. They need something in their data center right there that can mitigate that attack you know, within one second or less versus waiting minutes for that attack, right? And so that's where we come in. We're on-premise, you know, DDoS protection. We can protect those AI data centers immediately, right? And we've, we've had success in this. We've had AI companies coming to us because they need that low latency protection. Now, how we're using AI, we utilize it in our threat research, right? So we have something called a DDoS intelligence service where all the attacks we're seeing worldwide, we actually have a research team that combs through those, that looks for new attacks, new ways that we can protect. And we use AI to help us go through that technology and through those attacks and figure out what we can do differently, what we can you know, change, what we can evolve to. So right. we, we're both protecting AI and we're also utilizing it to help us evolve. Yeah, absolutely. And even to probably predict attacks before mm -hmm. they happen, right? Exactly. To say this looks suspicious and we yep. need to root that out before it yeah, gets exactly. here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing that. Um, tell me what is what, what's coming for Carrero in 2025? What's Why don't you tell them about Core? Okay, yeah. So uh, we have a newer product uh, coming that's uh, called Core. And what it is, it is a cloud-based uh, data uh, analytics. Um, it's also zero trust is what we're going to be able to do with it for availability. Uh, also botnet protection. But ultimately, we want to be able to take in... Uh, data into our data lake in the cloud. So this could be uh, traffic logs. It could be logs of, you know, access on servers. It's just information on what's happening, yeah. right? And we can use AI to kind of crawl that and make decisions. And then we can use our on-premise equipment. It could be uh, our appliance, could be a router, could be a server smart NIC, and we can enforce um, blocks or, you know, allowing traffic or blocking traffic based on what we're seeing in the cloud, we can even do that on prem, right? So we want to become kind of a uh, vendor neutral point of enforcement. So there's a lot of network security products 
that can tell you something is happening. They're, oh, you got attacked here, and this is what the attack was. But they don't have any enforcement points, right? So we want to be able to ingest all those that data from all these other softwares, say, okay, we can actually enforce that for you. Yeah. Right? And so that's one thing that we're kind of doing uh, up in the cloud. Right? So, great. That sounds like a great product. Congratulations. Hopefully thank you have you. a strong launch in 2025 for that. And I thank you for being here today, Mike and Mike. Yeah. Thank you so thank much. Great you talking so much. with you. Yeah, you yeah. as well. Thank you. And to our viewers, stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking. Yeah.